एष सर्वेशु भूतेशु गुड़ो आत्मा न प्रकाशते दृश्यते तो अग्रेया बुद्धिया सूक्ष्म या सूक्ष्म दर्शी भी ही everywhere intellect is stressed upon and dhira means people with lot of patience people with lot of discrimination dhairya patience perseverance people who are lage raho munne bhai man lage raho munna bhai so munna bhai this kind of doggedness only those people can attain to the highest reality this is again and again told not only in this upanishad in many upanishads so ye anupashyanti dhiraha that tam atmastham why atmastham atmastham means what that which is there inside oneself where it is told that it is there in the space of the heart heart means not here but somewhere center of your body in the heart आत्मस्थम अनुपश्यंति देसी अनुपश्यंति तम आत्मस्थम देसी धीराहा तेशाम सुखम शाश्वतम एंड ओनली देयर हैप्पीनेस इज इटरनल न इतरेशाम अदर पीपल्स हैप्पीनेस आर नॉट इटरनल अदर पीपल्स हैप्पीनेस आर ऑल ट्रांसिएंट टुडे यू आर हैप्पी now you are happy then you will become sad but a person who what is the other uh, dualistic perspective nityotsavam bhavat tesham anybody knows this shloka nityotsavam bhavat tesham nitya shri nitya mangalam yesham hridisto bhagavan mangalayatano harihi so this is a dualistic understanding what is the understanding nitya utsavam bhavat tesham bhavati tesham for those it will be a nitya utsavam constant celebration nitya shri nitya mangalam constant shri means aishwarya splendor nitya mangalam and constant welfare yesham for whom tesham for those people yesham in whose hridisto bhagavan in whose heart hridista means he is staying there residing bhagavan भगवान स्टेस और लॉर्ड स्टेस मंगलायतनो हरि ही हरि ही हरि हु इज द मंगलायतना हु इज द एबोर्ड ऑफ वेलफेयर ऑल दैट इज गुड मंगला ऑल दैट इज गुड ही इज द आयतना और द एबोर्ड और द रिसेप्टेक्ल और द बेसिस ऑफ दैट सो नित्योत्सव भवत तेषाम नित्य श्री नित्य मंगलम येषाम हृदयस्थो भगवान मंगलायतनो हरि similarly a person who has this patience or the perseverance or the doggedness to persevere and who sees ye anupashyanti tam atmastham that this self is there residing in the heart tesham sukham shashvatam in chandogya upanishad again i have been telling so many times shokam tarati atma vid शोकम तरति आत्मविद अ पर्सन हु हैज नोन आत्मविद वन हु हैज नोन आत्मन आत्मविद शोकम तरति ट्रांसेंड्स सॉरो सो द सेम थिंग हियर सो ओनली दोज पीपल दे विल हैव अ इटरनल इटरनल पीस सुखम कैन बी ऑल्सो सेट टू बी पीस और इटरनल हैप्पीनेस so what is the dhira you have to constantly discriminate or discern what is real what is unreal what is real what is unreal constantly you have to think constantly you have to think so when you go on a road you see that there is water then after some time you understand there is no water so you know that this is unreal you see a disk with seven colors when it is rotated it becomes white when the disc stops it is there are seven colors you know that that was unreal so so many things like people earlier used to think is dabbe mein ek aadmi kaise andar ghus ke gana ga raha hai radio so that was a great wonder how people are getting into that and singing from there so now people no 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 it is not real there is nobody is there inside so this is all waves etc so like that you think something then you this is what science is all about 
you make a hypothesis you do some experiment and then you come to some conclusion you either validate that hypothesis or you just reject that hypothesis so it should be repeatable verifiable and again and again you should be able to do same with spirituality in this sense you can see all those saints have seen you can also see but there is a process just like anybody cannot understand what is e is equal to mc square similarly anybody cannot just so there is one incident somebody from here only told me uh, yes 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 meghna saha incident so who told that ha huh, so, but somebody told me who told it uh i heard it from some swami i think atma priyanand somebody told me anyway so this meghna saha incident is very com uh, it is uh, quite famous in our circles so what is that incident so meghna saha had a classmate whose name was swami nirvedananda who uh, was the founder of the calcutta students home in belgoria ramakrishna mission students home so he went to this meghnath saha to meet him in that uh, his place and meghnath saha said oh how is that if it is true that atman is real no? how is it that uh, everybody does not realize it how is that everyone can't realize it so may nirvedan ji asked a counter question he said can you teach nuclear physics to your gardener that mali so he said you are talking like a fool how is it possible so you are talking like a fool because to understand nuclear physics you will have to complete your graduation you will have to complete post graduation then you will have to do phd etc etc so if it were true for such a science definitely much more practice and much more training is necessary for spiritual science also of course spiritual science is not in the sense of there is a group called spiritual scientists etc that is completely different thing i am talking about spirituality so spirituality if you have to understand if you have to know about the nature of atman you also need training just like a person needs training to understand nuclear physics so this training is necessary but if you train yourself then you will be able to understand so that is what is told and only when you understand and when only when you know that the same atman or the same reality is controlling the entire universe and the only one reality is seen as different forms and names only then you will get eternal peace now next mantra nityo nityo anityanam chetanah achetananam sorry chetanah chetananam eko bahunam yo vidadhati kamaan tamatmastham ये अनुपश्यंती धीरा तेषा शांति शाश्वती न इतरेशा सो हियर ऑल्सो द सेम लास्ट टू लाइन्स आर द सेम नित्य अनित्याना एंड चेतन चेतनानाम वॉट इज दट मीन वॉट इज दट मीन युअर बॉडी इज देअर इज इट टेम्पररी और इट इज परमनंट but because you have identified yourself with the body you feel that it is permanent mahat ascharyam what is that mahat ascharyam seeing everybody is dying but that 
Who said that? Yudhishthira. In Yaksha Prakshna. So the questions asked by Yaksha. So what is the greatest surprise? That you are seeing that everybody goes to Yamalayam. Everybody goes to the abode of Yama, not like Katha Upanishad Nachiketa went. No. Not as guest, but as permanent resident. So everybody goes there. And always you are seeing that everybody goes. But somehow we feel that I will not go. Oh, Koto Kom Boys Chilo Maragalo. Tumar the boys are Sotra Besi. But that I I don't have that idea. So oh, Maragalo, oh how bad he died. But you are also one feet in grave, they say, no? So that maybe two feet, uh, one foot in grave, no? both feet are uh, in grave. But that person does not understand. This is the greatest surprise. We don't understand. We are completely oblivious, completely ignorant of the transitoriness of our body. That is the greatest surprise. Why it happens? I have asked you this question earlier also. See, the first objection which comes when we say Brahma Satya Jagat Mithya one small general knowledge I will give you it is commonly told that Brahma Satya Jagat Mithya Jiva Brahma Iva Naparaha is a quotation of Shankaracharya but it is not correct there are some common myths both in science and also spirituality and philosophy also so there is no evidence to show that it is Shankaracharya's writing. No, none of his writings you will find this. So it is just a convention. It is tradition. So I generally don't say or generally why I never say that it is by Shankaracharya because there is no proof for that. Shankaracharya wrote so many things and we get so many things. Nowhere we get this. So just say that it is tradition. In Advaita tra tradition we say Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithya Jiva Brahma Eva Naparaha so Jiva and Brahma are same. Brahma is Satya, Jagan, Mithya. The moment you say this world is Mithya, as we see it, this is not true, this is not true, this is not true, nothing is true. Then the question is, Swamiji, if you are saying these are all not true, why do they feel so real? They feel so real. I can touch it, I can feel it, and without water I cannot speak, etc. So why is that they feel so real? Any one of you? Hmm. When in doubt, go to the example. When in doubt or when in confusion, go back to the example. What example? What is the example? So, rope is there. There is very much reality. Rope is there. That is why the snake is so real. Brahman is there. That is why you feel it so real. That's what. As we see it, it is not true. But there is some reality. It is not out of nothing. Out of void it has not come. Out of shunya it has not come. In Buddhism, of course, shunya has a different meaning. So out of void it has not come. Out of nothing it has not come. It is not possible. So Brahman, as Brahman it is true. As we see as this table or as this mic it is untrue. So that is why it feels so palpable. Only thing is I am seeing the wrong thing. Instead of seeing the rope, I am seeing the snake. But there is something. This is the answer. So that you have to understand. That when we see this body, we feel it is real because our consciousness has confused itself with the body. Chit Jada Granthi. Not. In Bengali, Jot Pakiye Deva. So there is a kind of mix up, very bad mix up. See? So Chit Jada Granthi. And there is a not, and it is a naughty, not N A U G S T Y. K-N-O-T-T-Y problem. Very naughty, very difficult problem to remove this. So we have to understand that. So, Che Anitya, this mobile, which is impermanent, feels permanent because of consciousness, because of Brahman. And Chetana, Chetana Naam, 
those objects which are seemingly live conscious consciousness is derived from brahman these objects appear conscious because of brahman chetana chetana naam eko bahu naam and this one reality brahman it bahu naam this eka do it is one this brahman bahu naam kaman vidadati it wish fulfills the wishes of many fulfills means what it is not dualistic it is in an imagery it is told that it gives the desires of many tam atmastham yenu pashyanti so again that reality brahman or atman a person who sees that will get eternal shashvata sukham shashvati sukham eternal please peace nobody else the other persons they will be in pieces this person will get total peace so next mantra tad etad iti manyante anirdeshyam paramam sukham कथम नो तदीयाम कि भाति विभाति वा सो द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल वेरी सिंपल सैंस्क्रिट अनिर्देश्यम परमम सुखम अनिर्देश्यम मीन्स दैट विच कैनॉट बी डिस्क्राइब्ड इन डिस्क्राइबल इन डिफाइनेबल परमम सुखम ग्रेट ब्लिस paramam great greatest bliss tat etat it is this atman or brahman is what indescribable bliss so you see people who have got this experience shri ramakrishna swami vivekananda etc what do they say there was a ocean there was light no lot of bliss was there this is the same kind of language repeated again and again in taitri upanishad you see brahmananda valli ha u a u when the rishi is singing out of joy not able to contain the bliss on attaining this bhagavan buddha lord buddha when he got this bodhi or this uh, illumination he started walking so it is told that three days he walked he could not contain the bliss so this everybody says lot of joy lot of light etc so the question is manyante tad etaditi manyante people think manyante manyante in plural means people who people not like me and you sages rishi they think rishi rishi bhi manyante this rishis sages rishi means swami ji says mantra drashta one who has seen the mantra they think that tad etad iti that is this what is that anirdeshyam paramam sukham it is indescribable unexplainable which cannot be told sri ramakrishna says it cannot be told why it can never be expressed the moment you bring uh, uh, it to tell it can never be told because it comes in the realm of duality so he says never has been the atman defiled uchishto it has never become uchishto because it cannot be described so it cannot be described so they say that it is indescribable greatest bliss but katham nu tad vijaniyam but if it is indescribable if it is indescribable then katham tu tat vijaniyam tat katham nu vijaniyam how shall i know this i go to you and ask you how to make biryani say and you say that it comes by experience you smile you give some smile and say it is experience it cannot be taught so you give me the recipe everything i also put all the ingredients so it were if it were so easy to just see a cookbook and prepare biryani and make the same taste then there will be no demand for good cooks so you put the same ingredients everything but it does not coming then i ask why it did not come then you smile and say that is experience how to convey this experience no way 
So you cannot become tarla dalal. You have to constantly abhyasena. So you will say, the same ingredients I put, I went to tarladalal.com and found the same ingredients, but my biryani is nowhere closer, nowhere near Tarla Dalal's biryani. What is the difference? Experience. So it's some particular. There is no special ingredient. Everything is there. But that, that particular uh, thing has not come. That uh, seeing the rice, seeing the masala, you know, now it has cooked, etc. So that kind of nuances I have not understood. That is why my biryani is not up to the mark. So how will this practice come? It will, uh, how will this experience come? Out of practice. It cannot be conveyed. So what is the good then? So you have given me the recipe. I have got exactly the same ingredients. Maybe you have given me the ingredients also. But ultimately the final net result is not coming. So the question is, if the sages have seen this Atman and they say, we cannot describe it. So how will I know? I have no, nothing to compare with. How will I know that this is Atman? I don't have any signpost. When I go from here, it is written Kolkata so many kilometers. And now and then, at Devliya, at uh, Kolagat, everywhere there is this road. So instead of going to Haldia, I never, instead of going to Kolkata, I am not going to Haldia because the signpost is there, guidepost is there. I know, yes, correct, this is the way to Kolkata. But how do I know that this is Atman? How do I know? Katham nu tad vijaniya. And also, how will I see it? How will I see it? There will be darkness. You say ignorance is darkness. Ajnana means andhakara, tamma, etc. So if I am in darkness, how will I see this? Will there be somebody bringing some torchlight, etc.? Or will there be some light? So this is what? Kimu bhati. How will it? Is it vibhati va? Is it self-effulgent? Or whether it will be having its own light. For example, in the night you don't need a torch to see the mobile phone. Mobile phone itself has got its light. So not necessary. You don't need a torch to see the mobile phone. If you just press something, it will show the light. Okay. So is it self-revealing? Or should I need some external? So is it self-revealing? Or is it revealed through mind and intellect? So what external? Here not torch, but mind and intellect. Do I need mind, man, mana or buddhi to see that? That is the question asked. Because you say the sages can't explain it. If somebody can't explain it, how do I understand? That is the question. So there the answer given is. What is the answer given? Na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam nema vidyuto bhanti Kutoya Magnihi Tameva Bhantam Anubhati Sarvam Tasya Bhasa Sarvam Idam Vibhati So the answer is very simple. Na Tatra Suryo Bhati Na Chandra Tarakam You are suddenly talking about a plane which is not dualistic. It is Advaita Bhumi. It is not Dvaita Bhumi. It is Advaita. It is non-dualistic plane. There is nothing at all. There is no illumined, no illuminer. There is nothing which gives light and which is lit. There is no difference. Why? There is nothing other than Brahman. So, na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam. There is no tatra suryo na bhati. Their sun does not shine in front of Brahman. Earlier we saw Agni, Bhayas, Tapati, Agni, Surya, Chandra. Remember? Faint recollection. So, because of Atman, this Surya gives light, etc. So, similarly, actually in Brahman, there is no duality. So, there is no Surya. There is Surya does not shine there. There is no Chandra, Tarakam. Chandra, moon is not there. Tarakam, stars are not there. Technically, Surya is also a star. But anyway, they might not have that much astronomic knowledge. But anyway, so it is not there. Tameva bhant naima vidyuto bhanti. Also, there is no lightning. 
विद्युत मीन्स लाइटनिंग देर इज नो विद्युत देर इज नो लाइटनिंग ऑल्सो कुतो एम अग्नि वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ कुतो अयम कुत अयम अग्नि वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ फायर देर इज नो लाइटनिंग इवन फायर वी क्रिएट इन दिस अर्थ इज इट नॉट लाइटनिंग इज अ डिवाइन थिंग विच इज क्रिएटेड बाई नेचर सो लाइटनिंग इज नॉट देयर सो वॉट टू टॉक ऑफ फायर सो देर इज नो फायर आई एम अग्नि कुत है सो तम भातम सर्वे एवं सर्व अति तमे भात अति सर्व सो ऑल इफ इट शाइन्स एवरीथिंग एल्स शाइन्स इफ इट शाइन्स तम भातमे सर्व अति इफ इट शाइन्स इट शाइन्स मीन्स ब्रह्मन एवरीथिंग एल्स शाइन्स वै बिकॉज इट इज द सबस्ट्रैटम ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इफ ब्रह्मन यू एड इग्नोरेन्स टू दैट यू गेट द यूनिवर्स सो इफ ट्यूबलाइट इज देयर द क्वेश्चन इज नॉट हाउ कैन यू सी द ट्यूबलाइट नॉट नेसेसरी इफ ट्यूबलाइट इज लिट ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल बी एबल टू सी द ट्यूबलाइट सो तम भातम अनुभाति सर्व तस्य भाषा सर्वमिदम विभाति बाय इट्स लाइट ऑल दीज सर्वमिदम ऑल दीज वट एवर यू सी आर लाइटेड इल यू माइंड बाय इट्स लाइट तस्य भाषा बाय इट्स लाइट ऑल इट अस इल यू माइंड सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज दिस हियर वी एंड द सेकंड कैंट ऑफ द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ कठोपनिषद नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज सेकंड पार्ट और सेकंड चैप्टर How do we practice it in our daily life? This is the question. How do we practice it in our daily life? So always we have to understand, as I said, witness. We have to understand that the body will perish. The body will perish one day. That the mind will sometimes be in a good mood, sometimes in a depressed mood, etc. We have to always understand that we are not the body, we are not the mind, and we have to constantly practice. what a sense of unity a sense of unity non difference a sense of non difference no difference between human being and human being that is the thing which we have to practice constantly we have to practice if you can't practice that and for practicing that you need a strong ethical foundation strong ethical foundation truthfulness control of mind why control of mind because if you think the mind is your personality then you will do whatever your mind says but if you think you are not the mind then automatically you will make your mind obey you so mind is wanting to eat something you give it so you should not become the slave of your mind mind should become your slave means you are not the mind mind is your instrument i am a person who writes i have a pen and the pen will obey what i write i should not obey the pen computer is my instrument or the robo or whatever is my instrument the computer will obey what i say if it does not obey i will program it to obey what i say that is what so my mind my body should obey what i say and but also i have to understand that it may not obey all the time why because it is material as computer suddenly it may crash so that is its nature similarly my mind may suddenly crash my body may suddenly crash that is its nature but i am not the body or mind if it crashes okay no problem it does not change my nature if a computer crashes it does not change my programming knowledge i will get another computer put some java script vb script whatever script and i will create another program or software so that is the idea so this constantly you have to and how to practice it in daily life if brahman is the true reality then whatever difference you see is only apparent it is not real this is the actual practical aspect of advaita vedanta there is no difference between people it is only manifestation just because somebody did not get some injection some hardware software problem somebody has hardware problem somebody cannot see somebody cannot listen somebody cannot walk etc these are all hardware problem software problem you tell a person 10000 times something the person again goes to no only short term memory they have just when you switch off the computer every memory goes away so no hard disk at all like that many people are there these are all 
just problems you should not worry about that actually the reality is one and a strong ethical framework unless you have that there is no point in studying upanishad there is no point swami ji says practice practice religion is realization religion is realization not 20000 tons of frothy talk but 1 ounce of practice this is what religion is realization and again he says each soul is potentially divine the goal is to manifest this divinity uh, manifest this divinity within do this either by work kama workship psychic control or uh, philosophy work worship psychic control or philosophy by one or more or all of this and be free this is the whole of religion doctrines temples dogmas rituals or books are but secondary details our problem is we have made those secondary details primary how do you become spiritual very simple put a tilak and one kanthi or whatever and don't eat non vegetarian food very simple you have become and very better still if you cannot uh, if you don't eat onion and garlic you are greatly spiritual so by that account so many people are spiritual and so many people can never become spiritual because for them without non vegetarian food they cannot eat they are in such a geographical location so and also you put some tilak you are spiritual you have some kind of cross or some kind of thing on your body you are spiritual so these are all not spiritual ideas of spirituality these are all material ideas of spirituality this is wrong misconception misplaced spirituality and you go to that person that person may tell lie cheat others etc what good is so sri ramakrishna says who is a person who is vegetarian a vegetarian is a person who may take meat onion garlic and all that but who follows truthfulness who follows god that person is true the word as you know in bengali is niramish and who is a namish who is complete vegetarian does not take anything apart from ghas phoos but does all kinds of wrong things tells lies etc so sri ramkrishna says even if somebody takes beef according to hindu custom beef is considered very bad so even if somebody takes beef that person is should be considered vegetarian if the person is following god and truthfulness so always we give importance to external methods why because that is easy to uh, accomplish it is very easy to become vegetarian or non vegetarian whatever but it is very difficult to practice truthfulness so whatever is easy acha how to become dharmic find out a kanti and rudraksha and all that and put it immediately you become dharmic immediately all you have to do is get those things and put it so no it is not that simple you have to practice this is the idea and if we do that then we will be able to practice religion because you see all these talk should not be just talk it has to palpably be translated into our day to day lives what is the fun if you are to, i have studied kathopanishad what is the fun no fun swami ranganathan ji puts it very very eloquently he says static piety he uses this word phrase static piety static piety what pavitrata oh bahu pavitro ki na ganga snan kare ganga snan kare bahu pavitro so always doing ganga snan see there was this lakshmi didi ha huh? and she had this chonche means always she will touch anything she will become so holy mother used to scold her always you touch this and you become impure you touch that you become impure so why so much of purity impurity atman is always pure so that is what so static piety you put on a tilak you put on a garland you become pure that should not be what should be dynamic spirituality these are phrases of ranganathanand ji the 13th president of ramakrishna mountain mission so dynamic spirituality your spirituality should be which is very palpable swami ranganathan ji used to say that are you growing spiritually how do you go, grow spiritually by having control of mind and peace inside and it will be manifested outside as love for others love for others service for others he used to always say 
that in India people want how not to do things. You see, you go to any typical Indian mentality, you go to any government offices or even private offices, most of the private offices have become now Sarkari companies, no? big companies become Sarkari. So you go there, they will tell you 50 reasons why your work cannot be done. And what is the general attitude outside of India? That is, how can I help you? What can I do for you? How can I be help? See, this we see very often. We go in some place, we go to some place, somebody is coming, you have so much of money in your pocket, but you will think thousand times before giving that one rupee coin or two rupee coin. And that is when you will get into a big dialogue about the economic scandal and how this whole thing is a mafia thing and all. Are you going to do anything about it? Can you do anything about it? Nothing. But I will tell you, pantaloons is also mafia. Pizza art is also mafia. You don't do anything because that gives you a self prestige that you are going to pantaloons, you are going to west side etc, purchasing these things and then you indiscriminately spend money for something which does not have even the 50% value of what you are spending. You do that. Why? Because it gives you self elation. It pampers your ego. That's why. You are constantly creating more bondage. That's why. So how do you become that? You, you see, you deny yourself. You deny yourself. You deny that two rupees to you. You say that person is not getting that two rupees. I give. Even if there is a mafia, say some percentage will go to that poor person. After all that mafia, whatever. Most of the times it is only because of watching some uh, movie we think that is mafia. Not always it is a mafia. Maybe some Madhur Bhandarkar movie inspired you to think like that. So, there may be mafia. So even then that person may get. So you deny yourself. When you have something to eat, you share it with somebody. You deny yourself. You hammer the ego at all levels. Even intellectually. You share your work. You put it in the open source. Instead of going for royalties, you say no. If somebody is... See, even that is a thing in outside of India. People... If you ask somebody to talk on some subject, you just send an email asking some doubt on the subject. People are so willing to, you know, collaborate and come and help. But in India, no. Immediately, dollar, dollar. <laughs> they will ask immediately, how much will you give? And for all you know, that person will come and do a very bad job. But still, money is necessary. So, for the cause of academia, for the cause of the knowledge, you share. And by that, knowledge only grows. What this, uh, there is an old Subhashitam in uh, Sanskrit. What is that? That a thief cannot steal. A thief cannot steal. Huh? And what is Vidya? Vidyadhanam Sarvadhanam Pradhanam. Vidyadhana. The wealth of knowledge is the greatest of all wealth. It cannot be stolen by a thief. It cannot be kept anywhere. And by giving it only increases. So, always denying ourselves for the body. You want to put some great clothes, you think. What is the point in having 10 sets of clothes or 20 sets of clothes? You are going to wear only one at one time. So, always you constantly think. For example, mobile phone. There are so fancy mobile phones. I just thought once that, okay, what is the thing which generally people use? I know so many people you might be also knowing who have iPhones, but they don't use the facilities. They have so many phones, Lum Lumia. They don't use the facilities. Why do you have this Android, window, etc. You don't use, there are like 400 apps. Who are, who is going to use? You don't have the time. So they don't use the facilities. So you have some small phone which has an internet connection, which has a GPS. More than sufficient what you need. You can use all a uh, decent photo camera, etc. You don't need anything else. So our needs are actually very less. But most of the things we have, you may have a library full of books. How many have you actually read? See, these are all always question, always question. Unless you practice, unless you practice, it is not going to happen. And how you practice, you don't ascribe more importance to the body and the mind than it automatically takes. So importance anyway, it will demand. If you don't eat one time, it will anyway ask food. Ask for food. So this is the thing. So now we will, we have only one canto remaining. After that, 
another one request i have is please memorize these mantras some mantras like esha sarveshu bhuteshu etc there are so many other mantras you have to memorize there are only 19 uh, mantras you know 18 mantras in the next so uh, in a few classes that will be over yes no no it is not difficult it is not difficult than your all equations you remember you are like what is your mother tongue hindi i don't buy that you have not tried you have to memorize that's all very common question no? very simple uh, Michael Jackson how many how much of crowd Michael Jackson has got or was having so the more and more you cater to the popular demand the crowd will increase suppose No, Michael Jackson has no respect. <laughs> That's what. So the more and more you, see, if I also start or anybody starts saying that make wealth, you see you have to make wealth, you please attend all those, you just listen to what they say. Just listen to what they say. Either they position it on the body level, most of them do. So there is some kind of practice by which your blood pressure will come down, etc. So immediately there will be crowd. You see, and always for, why in science also? See, undergraduate in physics, how many people are there? Post-graduation in physics, how many people are there? How many people go into PhD into physics and also there into, say, theoretical physics? How many people go? Somnathji? Very less compared to how many people would have studied theoretical physics if at all it is a paper in undergraduation. How many people will go to PhD? So always things which are subtle and refined, few takers. Why in Calcutta, how many people go nowadays particularly to Hindustani classical concerts? Very few. Halls are all not even 25 percent filled. Same Kolkata, you have a concert of some uh, person like some, what is that, Sunidhi Chauhan or something. <laughs> Tickets will be sold before you even think of that. So this is a common thing. Numbers don't mean anything at all. And also if you cater, you see, like I am very vocal about this, Osho, Osho. Osho says that yeah, celibacy is bad, monasticism is wrong, people will go. If I tell you that do whatever your senses tell you and it is no problem, spirituality will be there also. No problem, sex and spirituality go together hand in hand. If somebody tells you that, there will be more takers for that. If you, all these people, they have their content on YouTube. If you go, what we call new age gurus. If you go and see, you will see how shallow they are, most of them. In fact, most of them are very. And this is not only with Hinduism. This is the same thing with Buddhism. This is the same thing with Christianity. So, whomsoever is going to tell you the traditional thing will have very few takers. And even among them, some people are good in speaking, some people are not. That is a different issue altogether. Usually, you see, geniuses are respected only after their death. So, like that, all great things are respected only when people come to know afterwards. Earlier it is not, Sri Ramakrishna when he was alive, how many people used to go to him? History remembers only good things. So now we say that so many people. So many means how many? Now you see how many people go. Even then, for all the crowd which go, goes to Sri Ramakrishna or in that first January of every year, Kashipur they go. What is the mentality they go with? If I somehow can go there, then all sufferings of my life will go away. They don't want to realize God or something. 
you can ask them ah if i go there and just do pranam then kalpaturu see kalpaturu means he will give whatever you want that is not the idea but that is how people take so people want what they want it is very difficult numbers means nothing okay will om shanti 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 hari om tat sat 